mystery of stuff. Although healthy cows are the source of our dairy products that we consume almost every day, we seldom see them nowadays, except for maybe in pictures and on the internet. Surprisingly, cows are smart animals. They aren't only useful to humans, but they can harbor strong feelings. For instance, they can form friendships and show sad emotions. Predators are the natural enemies of herbivores. The same goes for leopards and cows. Leopards usually hunt for and eat cows. However, today's story that took place in India suggests that nature isn't all the time this straightforward. In June 2002, in Gujarat, India, the number of reports about villagers encountering leopards kept increasing. They claimed that a female leopard was spotted in the sugarcane fields. She could occasionally kill domestic dogs and birds of the local farmers. Leopards with cubs usually prefer reed fields with tall plants and refuge, simply because they are the perfect place to hide from unnecessary attention and danger. Leopard sightings are in fact prevalent in this region of India. Still, repeated reports of wild cat sightings in September urged the officials to solve the problem as soon as possible. After staging an ambush, authorities could finally catch the leopard near the village. To make sure it won't disturb the villagers again, they took it deeper into the forest and released it there. Fortunately, the danger was seemingly gone and there were no complaints for a while. Yet less than a month later, people started seeing the leopard again. However, it was now a younger one. Apparently, it was the cub of the female caught earlier. Once the conservationists came to the village again, they were told an unbelievable story. A family living on the village's outskirts has several cows grazing near the reed fields. They noticed that this little leopard came to visit one of their cows every night. I couldn't understand why the leopard behaved this way. But even more surprising was the fact that the cow took inner enemy and treated it like one of the calves, said the cow's owner. Of course, the animal conservationists didn't believe that such a thing could happen at first. However, they soon got to see the extraordinary friendship between the predator and the herbivore. The little leopard turned out to be a young female. She came running from the reed fields, while the cow, judging by the alerted ears, felt the little cub coming even before she could see her. While the other cattle were clearly restlessly trying to run away, the cow welcomed the wild animal calmly as if she was expecting her. When these unique animals met, the leopard rubbed against the cow like a kitten and sat next to it. The little leopard apparently liked her new friend. She would come by every evening around 9.30 and 11 o'clock to spend some time with the cow. The cow's owner and his family claimed that the cow would even lick the little cub's head as if she were her calf. They also allege hearing the distinctive gurgling sounds. To their surprise, the cow was breastfeeding the little leopard. Overall, they look like a mother and a child. The cow considered the leopard to be her calf, and the leopard saw the cow as mother leopard and not prey the amazing pair instantly became popular. Photographers and onlookers across the village settled on the roof of the nearest house. The village elders had nothing against the leopard, but they were afraid it might eventually attack someone at night. So they suggested the animal be caught and sent into the forest to join her mother. However, catching the naughty cub wasn't a simple task. She stubbornly refused to enter the cage with the bait and wandered around instead. She sometimes tried to injure the poor goat that served as the bait. Thus, people decided to shoot the animal with a tranquilizer dart. Still, the leopard unexpectedly left before this plan could be put into motion. Simultaneously, there are several reports of missing puppies in near villages, but the leopard remained elusive. All this time, the little leopard would visit the cow and then disappear for weeks and then come back again to check on the cow. In February 2003, the leopard came to visit the cow for the last time and stayed with it until the morning. However, sometimes the villagers would still find circumstantial evidence of the leopard's visit when some adult leopard killed a different cow and partially ate it. Nevertheless, it was unknown whether it was the same animal or not. Wild cat behaviorists theorize that this unfamiliar friendship formed because the female leopard was very young when it met the cow. This was, of course, before the hunting instinct fully appeared. Besides, the cow has never met leopards before, so it didn't realize they were a threat. This might be the reason why this unusual but exceptional friendship between an alleged predator and its potential prey became possible. 
Another shocking incident took place in one of Scotland's remote areas when a farmer named Steve noticed that his cow, Lilla, stopped giving milk. The cow would come back from the field every day for a whole week with an empty udder. The farmer thought that the cow was sick and called for a vet. After examining Lilla, the vet concluded that nothing was wrong with her and couldn't understand why her milk was gone. Steve had no choice but to follow the cow and see what's going on himself. Watching from afar, he saw the cow strolling and snacking on the grass and the rest of the cows. However, when the herd approached the forest thicket, Lilla began to lag behind and hid behind the trees. Steve was surprised by the cow's strange behavior. He couldn't understand why a cow would suddenly go into the forest, so he decided to keep following her. Once the farmer reached the spot, he saw Lilla in the tall grass, but not alone. She was with a tiny calf. It turned out that the cow had given birth to a calf. However, she didn't want to bring it home because she already knew it would be taken away from her and put in a separate place. Well, apparently that's what happened to all of her calves in the past. So this time, she was determined to hide the newborn calf in the forest thicket and came to feed him daily. As a mother, Lilla's instincts prompted her to keep the calf no matter what. The farmer was shocked and didn't expect the cow to harbor such a strong maternal instinct. He decided not to take her calves away anymore and to allow them to live together. He was so considerate to realize that Lilla deserved maternal happiness. You see, my friends, the animals are not as simple and shallow as we think. Sometimes even cattle can amaze us with their ability to make friends and express love and care. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, don't forget to leave a thumbs up, subscribe, and activate the notification bell so you don't miss any new stories. Did you enjoy today's story? Let us know what you think about it in the comments. If you believe this story was amazing, don't hesitate to share it with your buddies, hit the subscribe button, and activate the notification bell so you never miss your daily dose of incredible stories.